Hello, Justin Spears here at Sienega High School. We're back here with our top 22 countdown for the high school season. Another Bobcat that makes our list, Thomas Webb. Thomas, you, uh, a pretty much a two-way two player. You started at safety. You also got some time in at running back last year. Um, just from talking to your teammates, it seems like you guys are really motivated for this year, especially the senior class, because you told me that this senior class has not lost a regular season game. So freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, completely undefeated during the regular season. How, what is the recipe for you guys? How do you guys win so much? Uh, we stay motivated. You know, uh, you just you can't get complacent. With it. Every day you gotta come in with a mindset that you have a chip on your shoulder, and it's just that blue collar mentality yeah. that you have to have. And you know, we don't we don't really care about you know what we did last year as much as you know that's a great thing to accomplish. You know, we still haven't won a state championship, and so yeah. that's the thing that we just know that we haven't reached our goal, and our goal ultimately is a state is a state championship. So, but just come in working hard and just playing as a family and a brotherhood and really paying attention to detail. How do you guys replace Jamari Joyner? It, it's it's hard because you know he was probably one of the best, probably the best quarterback in Sienega football history. How do you guys replace him, and how do you guys keep the offense moving? Uh, you know, next guy up. You know, Jamari's a a heck of an athlete. You know, always when you have a player of his caliber, you know, it's gonna be a, a loss. But you know, we have other players. You know, Luis Morales is a great yeah. quarterback. He's really smart. He's not as athletic as Jamari, but you know, Jamari's really rare to come alive. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. But uh, we're very, we're very comfortable with Luis. He, we feel like he's gonna do a great job. And, you know, Sienega, Sienega. We're always gonna be a powerhouse no matter what. So. Yeah. Are you from Tucson? Yes, I am. So you born and raised, or you moved here? I was born and raised, sir. Awesome. So you've always grown up on this side of town? Yes, or? sir. Definitely. So you grew up watching Sienega, yes, correct? Yes, definitely. What, what are some players that you remember or some teams that you remember about being a young Thomas Webb growing up and hoping to be a Bobcat? Oh, okay. yeah, definitely. You know, growing up, especially on this side of town, you know, all you know is Sienega football. So. But uh, Francisco DiCochea, yeah. uh, Adriel Alvaro, Alvarado, Alvarado. Alvarado, him, uh, Q Brown. Uh, Edgar Poe, um, let's see, who else? Uh, Edgar, we got uh, Gonzalez. Daniel. Daniel Gonzalez, you know, just great guys who just played played the hearts out. And you, you can really see it on the field as well. I, I remember one year, uh, Dico Shale blocked a, a game-winning kick on that side, of the, on that side actually, also in the student section. And it's just the atmosphere when that happened, it just, it was something I wanted to be a part of. It's something that, you know, I enjoyed being a part of. Mm -hmm. Who do you body your game after? I'm curious. Could I, I'd say Carl Joseph. He was a West Virginia grad. He plays for the Raiders right now. You know, not the biggest guy, not the fastest, but you know, he has some speed and he just loved to hit. I love to hit. I love to pursue the ball. You know, that backside hit when he yeah. doesn't see you coming. I just, I just lean for that. So, you know, it's just one of those things that you know you like to match players, sure. your stature and all this and that. But I say I model my game after him, him and Sean Taylor. But, That's awesome. That's Sean Taylor. Sir, this definitely. is the man right here. Good, good call on Sean Taylor. So Terrell Hayward, uh, he's another two-way player for you guys. He's moving over from cornerback to safety, and you're a safety yourself, so you get to you get to play right alongside him. How much are you looking forward to that? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. That's been my best friend since second grade. You know, me and him grew up playing, you know, flag football and stuff like that at our school. You know, it's just our off the field relationship that just makes us play together even better on the field. So I'm excited to have a playmaker like him. You know, it's going to be fun. We like to have fun on defense, you know, make tackles, celebrate and stuff like that. So it's going to be definitely a show. I was talking to Zach Mattis and, you know, he's a big guy moving over to linebacker. And he said that he took up boxing to kind of get up his, his hand speed and stuff like that. Do you have any kind of off the wall hobbies or activities that you do to keep yourself in shape? In shape. Mm. Or you just the typical football player, you just lift, you run, have a good diet. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta <laughs> grind. You know, Zach's a specimen. That dude, he's a big dude, and he's got, he, he's got some size and stuff. But yeah, nothing really. Just I actually run hills, just try to get my speed up. But that's probably one of my secrets: hills and then back throwing up hills. Just, just trying to get work when you can. You know, and just having fun with it, trying different things and stuff like that. All right. Well, that's Thomas Webb Jr. Right? Yes, sir. Definitely. You can uh, catch him in the Sienega Bobcats here at Sienega Stadium or anywhere that the Bobcats play this season. Thomas, thank you for taking the time and talking to us. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. You can check out this top 22 countdown available on Tucson.com. But we're not finished yet. Stay, well. Stay tuned.